So what would happen here is a boat would come up, uh, they would be communication between the boat driver and the lock master, and uh, the boats would be raised about nine feet, would then uh, actually come into the lock system, be raised about nine feet, and then would continue their voyage. And then on the downstream, the same thing, they would come in, be lowered nine feet, and then continue their voyage downstream. So it's a very simple uh, structure, uh, and it really just takes good coordination and communication between the boat driver and the lock master. It requires a pushing of one button, and it's uh, about a 10-minute trip from start to finish, and about six minutes actually in the lock itself. So the foundation commissioned Mark Schlesinger. He's originally from New York. Um, he's a painter who kind of came of age in the 70s. If any of you know who Lee Krasner and Jackson Pollock are, he actually studied under Lee Krasner and was her assistant. Um, Mark and his wife and children moved down here a number of years ago. And in this particular case, he's created a, an entirely new material. It's a polymer stucco. And if you look at these bands of bright color that kind of connect up with the columns and reference those column structures, those bands of polymer stucco glow, and they don't glow for just a few minutes or a little while, they'll glow throughout the night. We always say there's a surprise around every corner because you come around a corner like this and you see a wonderful water feature, and you begin to see other architectural features as you uh, walk on down the river. There's a historic dam down here as well. This is the historic dam that we unearthed during the construction. Uh, it's called the Alamo Mills Dam. And uh, we wanted to incorporate it in the design of the project because we thought it was a really important feature. Uh, the dam itself used to stretch across the river here, but we kind of broke through. We didn't have to break through. It was already broken when we actually dug it up. The Foundation commissioned Donald Lipsky, who currently lives in Philadelphia, to do this project. He's another world-famous public artist. And what he's done is, is truly transform a space into a place. This, I think, will become a landmark for the city. It's, uh, it's an amazing piece. What we're looking at are 25 seven-foot-long versions of a native fish of the San Antonio River. Uh, the fish is called the long-eared sunfish. 